Final gathering. Okay, let me just kind of go over what final gathering uh, can be used for other than global illumination. So what I did, I took global illumination out of the equation. I took all lights out of the equation and I made a ball within a ball. Okay, and this top ball, I can adjust uh, the different properties on it. Like, let's say Lambert 1. I have Lambert 1 as incandescent. So I can use incandescent and ambient to make light. Okay, so simple ball in a room, no light source whatsoever. But since incandescent is raised up quite a bit, I get this. And I love this look. I don't know what it is. It's just a super white room, lots of bright lights. Okay. Now, if you switched it over to the ambient version, I should save that. Let's save this out. Okay. And then let's switch from not incandescent but to ambient and ambient's a little you got to add a little bit more power to ambient to match up to what the power of incandescent is now keep that one so let's kind of look at them side by side Okay. So very cool. I mean, for what it is, like your incandescent doesn't show rich shadows as much as ambient. Ambient would be more of the sun quality that you're looking for. But to light a surface with an actual, um, the shading property off a shader, that's pretty sweet. No, there's no doubt about it. So global illumination, if I wanted to use, if I wanted to bounce color off a surface, I would use global illumination. If I wanted to calculate well, I'd use final gather. If I wanted to make a holier than thou lit area, I'd use final gathering. And if you mix them all together, you get that. You get the actual properties of what you see around you every day of your life. But it's the experimentation that you're going to have to have to mix and match them in correct ratios. And there is no right answer there. I mean, if it's all how you start using these things, what's nice about making a render globe like this is because with final gather, if I just final gathered this part right here, one, it's gonna take a, a little bit longer Two, as you can see, light escapes. Okay, so it's being calculated by bouncing off the sphere. Look at that, however. Really, that's a nicely, a nice well-lit situation. So if I had a ground plane down here, just like this, and this ground plane was a whole different material altogether. So let's see, sign it new material i'm being lazy about this and just <laughs> randomly signing new materials to things so if i had this situation where i wanted a well-lit situation up and have nice shadows and everything else i could use a light or i can use an actual piece of geometry as that light source so that's that's what final gathering does one thing i should point out if you're starting to do this you probably don't want to see this as your light source so what you can do is go down to uh, the actual shape and go down to render stats and you say cast shadows, receive shadows, primary visibility off, whoops, this one, cast shadows, receive shadows, primary visible off. But you can also say visible and refractions and refre reflections. So it's their reflecting light. It's re their refracting light. But when you go to render it, 
it just looks like this really even lighting. Okay. All right. So that's final gathering and how to use it as a light source. Enjoy. On to the next video.